Hey guys, welcome to episode number 426. Today is a very special episode because it kicks off the first in a new series here on my channel called Aquarium News. Every single Thursday, I'm going to bring you the top news stories of the week related to fish and aquariums. So let's jump right into the news and we can see what's happened this week. The first story to talk about is gel robots. A team at MIT has created a transparent gel-based robot that is delicate and precise enough to catch and release live fish. Made from hydrogel, these robots are primarily water, they're nearly invisible, and may one day assist in various underwater tasks and medical procedures. Soft robotics is an exciting area which promises to change our world and our aquariums for the better. Next story up is peeing cichlids. To pee or not to pee? That was the question published in February's edition of Behavioral Ecology and Sociobiology. A team of researchers studied urine signals in the species Neolamprologus pulcher and found that when male opponents saw each other through a divider, they rushed forward and peed. Researchers dyed the fish's urine blue and found that when a solid barrier was used, the fish peed even more in an attempt to get their message across. The team also found that smaller fish not receiving this chemical cue would often try to attack larger opponents. This is just the first reported case of urine signals in fish, so expect many more fish pee stories in the future. The next story is out of Shedd Aquarium. This week, the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago, Illinois shared the sad news of Granddad's passing. Granddad was an Australian lungfish who had been on display at the aquarium since 1933. Granddad is thought to have been 90 years old, holding the title of oldest fish in any public zoo or aquarium. Australian lungfish are an ancient species which has remained virtually unchanged for over 100 million years, making it one of the oldest living vertebrates on the planet. Granddad was seen by over 104 million visitors to the Shedd Aquarium over the years, and in tribute to his passing, the aquarium has asked for the public to share their best granddad memories on their Facebook page. And the last story of the week is out of Wired. Wired Magazine published an article titled Inside the Race to Create a Fish-Free Fish Food. It's a story about 2XC, a sustainable fish farm which entered the F3 Challenge. It's a race to sell 100,000 metric tons of fish food which doesn't contain any fish ingredients at all. Fish meal is an extremely common ingredient in fish food, from tropical flake all the way up to commercial salmon feed. The time is fast approaching where fish meal will no longer be feasible for raising farmed fish. Sustainable alternative ingredients such as seaweed, yeast, and algae have been proposed. Anyways guys, for more stories like this, tune in next week. Let me know down in the comments which stories you liked and definitely check out the links down below to all of these stories so you can learn a little bit more. Until then, stay curious and I'll see you guys later.